mejor comedia romántica que conozco comenzó en un pequeño bar de vinos en Washington. Algunos dicen es Inwood, pero la gente real lo sabe. La política, las papidas y como mi vida llevaron a felices para siempre. Marcel, the babes, I vow to be your peace, like the feeling you get at the beach at night when the moon's bright and the waves calm. Your support, like a good talk with a close friend when the drinks flow and the night don't end. Your relief, like a good wine after a long day or a warm bath when your troubles just melt away. Your comfort, like when it's cold out and the heat is on, the blanket's big and the bed warm, and the babe's there and the cuddle's on. I vow to always communicate. I vow to always be your foundation. And most importantly, in good times or bad, when the sun sets at three, or the moon shines when it's light out, I vow to always love you. The latest chapter of our lives together has taken place in an interesting day and age. A lot has been taken from us as a society, as a couple, and individuals. There was a period in time where we literally only had each other. And in that time, I quickly realized that what we have is not just enough, but an abundance. And suddenly, the little life that I thought I had started to feel so big. And so I vowed to keep us in abundance, to fill up your days in ways that make your life feel grand even as we continue to grow and change and we will time will change you and when it does i vow to get to know you again over and over i remember one night you told me that i made you feel safe and that you hope you did the same for me too you do but truthfully i think that is the greatest gift i can give you i vow to do my best to forever make you feel safe to protect you fiercely from people who will try to abuse your kindness from a world that will unfairly judge you for the color of your skin or the way you weigh or the way you wear your beard or your hair or for how terribly cool your name is and for the simple fact that you were fortunate enough to be birthed by an island that gave you a rich heritage and culture i vow to embrace and nourish those parts of you the humility and respect you learned from your father the unrelenting love and fight you inherited from your mother and the companionship and understanding you built from through and with your brothers and sisters and you just might be the most confident man I ever met. <laughs> and though admittedly that was off-putting at first, I learned to deeply appreciate how not only you didn't need permission to be yourself, but that you were secure enough for the both of us. I conquered a lot of fears through your confidence. And so I vow to forever fan your flame. And I hope you forever look to me when you find something funny. See if I find it funny too. <laughs> and I vow to forever seek to make you laugh, to build with you literally and figuratively, to continue to be a true partner in life, in bike riding, in wine drinking, in binge watching, in weightlifting, in any tax bracket, in traveling, <laughs> in staying in, and in sickness or in health. And whatever this lifetime or the next one brings, I vow to be yours in perpetuity. I do always see their four hands as healer, protector, shelter, and guide. And now, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Everyone, please give a hand for Margie and Kavi. Yeah.